What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel for a daily extra news, uh, which we haven't done uh, lately because there wasn't really extra news. But there is some extra news, and it's actually kind of not shocking. Yeah, it's shocking <laughs> because Sanyolo spoke and he said things you wouldn't expect a player to say when he's under contract and when the situation is what it is. Because he made a statement that's very telling, it's very clear. And it kind of shuts the door to, or like for returning to Italy if it's not Juve. We will discuss that and a crazy um, De Laurentiis, Juntoli, Juve situation that is taking place. Um, and that's about it. That's a daily extra, but it, two kind of weird and crazy stories. Before we get into it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit the bell notification, and uh, let's go. Okay, uh, first off, let's start with the Zaniolo thing because that's breaking. He spoke, he spoke to Gazette Little Sport. He probably said more than what I'm gonna read, but this uh, has come out at the moment I'm actually recording. And he said, Champions League or no Champions League, that changed nothing. Juve is my dream. Since I was a child, I've been supporting Pogba and the club. I'm doing well at Galatasaray, uh, but um, if I'm if an advantage, uh, a good opportunity, an interesting opportunity comes along for me and the club. I leave. I like to play with Keane. He also added, you know, I'm ready to play the playoff champ, the playoff rounds to get into the Champions League with Galatasaray. But this statement is, it's kind of shocking because it's strong. Like imagine being a fan. Like imagine being a Galatasaray fan, and your player says this. Or imagine, or imagine being just a Juve fan as you are, and. I'm making stuff up now. Chiesa speaking, saying, I've always been an Inter fan. I would love them to, if you know what I mean. Or maybe that's extreme, but let's say I've always been a Bayern fan. It would be amazing if Bayern, uh, I would love to play for Bayern. Like random, out of nowhere, that's shocking. You know, it's it's shocking for me uh, as a Juve fan. It's shocking if you're a Galatasaray fan because this is a very strong statement. You cannot return, like you cannot take back uh, even if you're linked with a move to Italy, and if it's not Juve, that statement is out there. Not that the clubs care, and not that the club should care, but fans of the clubs care, and the club kind of should care what fans think. So that statement is very obvious, and I will go further. There's more to it. I don't think he makes the statement without him knowing there's a good possibility that he will join the club. Otherwise, this statement makes absolutely no sense because it's very random. It's very kind of dangerous. It's disruptive. It's not needed. If he doesn't know something, we probably don't know. You know, um, I'm not saying it's a done deal. I'm not saying it's 100% certain he's signing. It's not. I'm not saying we're in concrete talks to get him at at the moment, as of now, as I speak. But if you make that type of statement, you must know that something is possible something is very possible otherwise th this statement is make makes no sense because again it's very strong to come out and say i'm a fan of juve ever since i was a child and i will be happy to join them champs league or no champs league i love to play with keen something is up you know something is up you know i've and i've talked about Sonolo for so many times i'm not a big fan of him uh, i think he offered way too little in the last couple of years uh, you know it it his injuries, like two knees uh, operations, like it, I'm just I'm just not up for that deal. And I know we can play on the right, and we don't have Di Maria. And Sule will probably leave, but I'm just like I'm not feeling it. And I, even if he signs, I will not feel it. Uh, if he proves me wrong, if he joins, fine. But as of now, I, I'm not feeling it. You know, it, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not a player that excites me anymore. It's not a player who I will look to and think he will take us to the next level. He will win us game games almost week in, week out. He's not that type of player. He has not been that type of player the last two seasons, and I struggle to see how he will turn in that type of player going off the path he's already been on, you know, with the injuries, trying to join Milan, then accepting Bournemouth, then ending up Galatasaray. I'm just not up for it, you know. Uh, but this is an extremely strong statement because, again, 
you don't say that out of the blue like you need to know something and that will probably come out in the coming days you know if something is really happening but we know the club is interesting they have been interesting for years they've shown interest this season it's well documented so let's see that could be the next development it could not be Parisi or Chiesa leaving or whatever the next development could be you know we're really going for Zaniolo and maybe Mikani going to Galstrai I don't know something like that Alexandro is liked by Galstrai and according to Mico Di Natale we're not in a good position as of now to terminate this contract so they're looking for solutions maybe that could be a solution who knows um, but again very shocking or like sh- very strong statement kind of out of the blue you know it is kind of the blue what What's also out of the blue, and that's the second part of this video, is the Marcos news that is is so confusing. It's about Juntoli. So the news is that Juntoli wants to free himself up before Friday so he can start on Saturday. Because after Saturday, I've not... I've not understand it 100%. I'm not going to lie. But it has something to do with he cannot officially step into... Uh, in the new job if it's after july 1st officially he can still have a say because he's having it now apparently but the news that the marcia broke is very confusing because he said napoli and de laurentis to free up juntoli wanted to include Zelinski in a deal because he's a free agent in 24 and they don't want to give him a new deal and they're probably not reaching an agreement so they want to get money juve however told them they are not interesting at this moment in time basically which makes sense because that's not a position we really need. We talked about Savage. Do we need him? Will you take Savage, Fratesi? That was if Rabiota didn't say. Now, Rabiot's one year. Maybe you still bring in Fratesi and you move on Rabiot next season. But as of now, I like Zelinski, but I, I agree. Like, that's not what we should be focusing on. But it's very strange what's happening, you know. De Laurentiis is who he is. And... Juntli is actually not working for the club, but he's refusing to let him go as of now. And that's what when that if he joins after Friday, it, it could be a problem to get into office. I think that has something to do with it. And this deal is crazy or like not this deal, this potential deal he was, you know, offering to the club is it's just mad. You know, it's crazy, you know, because I've never seen anything like this before. Like we're talking about a sporting director and he's trying to include players in a deal unheard of. Uh, I actually struggle to believe if it's true, but then again, it's De Laurentiis. It could easily be 100% true. It's uh, very confusing. When the news broke, I was live, and I was confused, and I'm still confused, you know, how <laughs> this is actually a thing. But he's playing hardball, and, you know, I think a week ago, Romeo Gracie said, like, it's there's more confident things can move for Juntoli. It's a week and a half later, or like a good week later, and still nothing actually happened so let's see time is taking for him today the news also came out that man is getting a new deal which is also strange because he's like what role is he taking on because he's the sporting director now but if juntoli comes in he's not going to be the sporting director right and kirubini is still at the club you know i think he got a six month suspension the plan is to keep him as well so very interesting and very weird thing to follow especially with the Zelinski news um, but let's see you know news is expected surrounding Juntoli this week um, I think that's the kind of the ultimatum for him as well uh, I think he will push but let's see how that will develop the big story is Zaniolo coming out and saying what he said which is very strong and for people who do do like Zaniolo, very good, very positive. For people who do not like Zaniolo, maybe worrying because something is kind of uh, happening uh, by the looks of it. But again, let's see how that will develop as always. I'm going to end this video here. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. If you want to get the new merch with the cups on, you can see underneath this video or go on the merch store on the home tab. Thanks for watching. I will be live again on Friday. So uh, see you guys then. Ciao.